Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Podcast, the only sneaker podcast where our wives are funnier than us. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. Thank you so much to everyone who checked out our episode last week, listened to the first <laughs> time. And I think of the past couple of episodes, we've done highest engagement in terms of like comments and reshares and stuff like that. So thank Very you so funny. much to everyone who uh, finally watched our podcast for the first time after six years and said, your wives are so funny. They should be on the show every week. Thank you. We are mm. really trying hard over here and we love them. It, w- it went, it went very smooth. I thought it was time. great. Yeah. I thought it was great. Wife was very nervous. Don't know about Amanda. Ashley was very nervous. Uh, Amanda was, I think ahead of time, but once we kind of sat down and got to talking, it seemed like her nerves kind of subsided a little bit. No, Ashley was like, all I can see is the fear. <laughs> On let my me, face. Let me tell you what, though. We're going to look back at a year. And we're going to say the two greatest bits we had on this show were kids on the moon and the paper in church. The paper, paper in church. church bit, which should have been honestly the highlight, like the social clip that we posted. And it's yeah. not too late. I could go back and grab it, but we could always, we can always be there. Man. Yeah. I, just such a, I was like, I, I was like, I was like what is she even? I, I also was like, I don't know I, what. I don't know what church you went to. And at this point, I'm afraid to ask. Hey, absolutely. I was like, where are we going with this? I was like, oh, yeah. and I was like, I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> you know, but, but I, I don't want to technically say you're right. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's right in between. I, what, I was like, I don't know where we are in this. I was like, Landry, play us off. Yeah. What's the next question? Can you just go ahead and give the next one up? Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of, thank you, everyone who might be watching us, checking us out for the first time. I wanted to take a moment at the top of this uh, episode to say, if you're not watching, you can join us over on YouTube and check it out. If you're not already subscribed, please do. And especially new for this week, let's see if I did it right. Hey, we are officially talking about and publishing and sharing our discord. So we have a discord. It will be linked in the episode description down below, but also uh, in, in the link tree that we have on our social media accounts. But basically we have a discord. It's not a, uh cook group it's not a buy sell trade sort of place it's just a group for fans of the show and you know friends of ours to talk about sneakers what's going on uh we honestly don't even really talk about the show that much it's just if you want to hang out with other people and talk about sneakers it's a good place to do so so shoe podcast discord go ahead and check it out come on in we have a fun time there let's see and look at that look at that smooth little transition there all right speaking of talking about shoes though the reason everyone is here today, the March 2024 sneaker releases. Now, here's how quick things are changing at this point. You and I were texting yesterday, just a mere, let's call it 36 hours ago of like, hey, we might need to pick an episode, a different episode topic because March is looking pretty mm-hmm. dry as of right now. Uh, oh, yeah. For the listener context, we're recording on the 27th now. So a few days before, not even technically out of February now, but over the past 24 hours, I think some more stuff has been added. I wouldn't call it the saving grace of March, but I think there is more to talk about now. What is your initial impression of how March is looking to shake out here? Not, not surprising. I mean, I think we, we we're getting into that kind of part of the year where we, we may see one or two kind of cool things, but we're not in the hype of the new year and we're not really into the summer. Yeah. or even like the end of the year. So this is kind of the part of the year where I'm like kind of a struggle. I didn't check it out until I didn't start looking at the calendar till today. Mm-hmm. And that's whenever we got on. And I was like, yeah, man, March is looking a little it, oof. And you were like, oh man, well, it's actually <laughs> better you, than if yesterday. You think today is bad. You should have seen yesterday. Yeah. To your so, point, the first, so I was like, oof, the first three to four months of the year are normally pretty slow, which is why we always take January yeah. off this year. February was a bit of an anomaly where we ate and i hope you all stashed away some for the coming months because we are going into Mm. hibernation mode now Mm -hmm. typically like the couple of saving graces you have right are like all-star weekend in february and air max day in march which both of those this year not quite hitting the mark yeah yeah well all-star was also just in general kind of a yeah well Kind of, they, a, kind of a oof. They had a uh, they had an unfortunate timing there that I'm pretty sure All Star Weekend was the same weekend that Trump sneakers released at SneakerCon. So it's like when you want to talk about right, you're trying to make like the biggest splash. It's your time of the year, and like, uh oh. So, anyways, yeah. we 
Go ahead. I'll wonder you that, well, I wonder if those will be on the calendar. Well, they already released, so not for March now. That was the. Well, actually, well, I guess pre-order. Yeah, they were pre-order. Maybe they'll have the official release. Everyone make sure to check back January 6th. That's right. He said the quiet part out loud. <laughs> Listeners gone. You're probably not the ones we wanted. All right. So <laughs> I like that little move there. Uh, we are going to scroll through the sneaker news and the kicks on fire calendar to look at what is coming out this month. As we do every month, apologies in advance. We are not performance basketball people. So uh, there are a couple, though, that I might point out, but let's get it pulled up again. As good a time as ever to reiterate the importance of this being a visual episode. If you are just listening, yes. this is probably not going to translate. Pull the car over on the side of I-10 on the Atchafalaya base and just park for 50 minutes. You know, Ooh, you get, on the you got basin. That. It's a tight shoulder. Yeah. yeah. You got to roll down the window. You got to pull the side mirror in. Okay. You don't want to get clipped. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to get clipped. When are they putting the cameras up? <laughs> That's a real niche local humor there. Yeah, but <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. For my South LA people. <laughs> Y'all know what we're talking about. <laughs> Starting off in March, we got like some golden air forces and the dunks to go along with it. The KD 16. Mm. Uh, I'll be the, you know, I'll be quick to say we are getting tired of the Mac attack, but this sort of like suede colorway that's going on here. It's one not of the terrible. better ones. Yeah. It's not. Te- yeah. I will. I will say it's not terrible. Uh, the Zoom GT Ooh, Hustle 2, the GT Jump 2. This is one I, I wanted like to that. talk to you about, though. The yeah, Anthony I, yeah. Edwards Best of Addy, though I've also seen these kind of called the Stormtrooper colorway. How do you feel mm. about the first signature silhouette from Anthony Edwards? A lot of what I'm seeing online, again, I have to, we have to preface all of this with like not performance basketball people. Uh, but the general consensus online seems to be that Adidas signature basketball kind of like doing better and hotter than Nike signature basketball sneakers right now. That That's what, okay. So I also would agree. Now it does look like a weird mix of here we go. Easy and fear of God, which I mean, to be fair, if we know anything about a big brand, they have no problem ripping themselves off. Um, oh, they don't. Where's the angle for me? It's this angle. That toe is so like, yeah. Yeezy quantum and fear yes. of God for silhouette that they're doing. Yeah. Um, however, I like them. Mm-hmm. I like the look. I think they look really good. It looks very um, futuristic, but mm-hmm. not so futuristic that uh, it doesn't seem like it's, it can fit with now. Yeah. Um, so I really like it. I think it looks really comfortable to wear. Again, I'm not a, a performance like a sneaker. So I'm not uh, yeah. entirely sure, but it looks really cool and Again, it looks really comfortable from what I'm reading online uh, or seeing people talk about online is that where Adidas is shining right now in their performance basketball sneakers is that they're not trying to do what Nike's doing, which is like, it's good for performance, but also good for everyday lifestyle wear. Adidas is just like yeah. focusing on the performance side of it. And I think that seems to be resonating with people more right now. Cause when you, when you try to appease both and you miss one, then you miss both, right? You know, it's like, Mm, oh, this doesn't look that great for casual wear and it's not that great for performance. Like it's got no redeeming. Um, So this one being so performance focused, I think people are just appreciating it and it being a different take, you know, than like so much of what we're used to seeing from signature silhouettes now. No, I agree. I think, and I think that's the, I think that's the way that it should be. Yeah. I mean, it's not 2016 anymore. (laughs) We're not wearing KDs with khakis. You know, with the uh, the the Nike Elite socks, the joggers. You know, what I mean, yeah, like yeah. it was a time. It was great. Don't get Let me wrong. Go. I love it. Let it go. Um, but I, I think what I think what you say is great. If you try to if you try to split and and make both parties happy, you're both. I think you you just end up failing. And I think it's, both parties are just like this isn't a good basketball shoe, so it's not a yeah. good performance shoe. And then people are like, it may look good, but it's also a performance shoe, so it's like hard to to wear it's not going to be the Um, maximum comfort you could be having yeah yeah so i I don't know and i I think you know it kind of it may get to where it's like if you i feel like if you've got too many flashy shoes Mm. out there i think that's kind of where nike's trying to do is like every shoe wants to be a big standout and i think that's also hard because i think a lot of people are like what helps push you to buy a shoe is when you can see it 
worn in a lot of different outfits and you can mm-hmm. be like, Oh, I could wear this for this occasion or this occasion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, you know, let's go to being like, yeah, I've got these shoes that I'm wearing to the court. And then these are the shoes that I pull yeah. out of the bag. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, of all the, of all the performance basketball secret talk that you're not going to hear us do, there's a little something for you. There's was a lot. There's, there's a little a something for y'all. Yeah. Uh, moving along the on issue number five, mm. Mambo number five, the Dame eight, um, the hardened volume eight, not really hitting as much for me as the Anthony Edwards one, but I, I still appreciate that we're going out there and we're doing something different. Like, you know, pretty recognizably unique design going on here. You know, it doesn't, Okay. I, yeah. I feel like it's not too confusable for a lot of other stuff. It doesn't look too generic. It's by nature, not for me. Um, boy, what did Harden have the, like the first colorway or two, this first silhouette or two that he did with Adidas. I remember being super into, I would have to look them up to remember like, what yeah. they even look like, but I remember being into them, but that was around the time that I bought a pair of Kyrie's and I was like, these look cool. And I was like, what do you mean? You can't wear them all day. Um, so I never ended up getting them, but you know, something a little different. Yeah. Let's stop beating around the bush though. Come on. Just the whole middle section right there. Cut out yeah. the shoe. Yeah. I just, just want to see bare feet. No, not even transparent. Yeah. Just completely. Yeah. You want just to talk about ventilation <laughs> giant hole in the shoe. These are breathable. Oh, there's no shoe. Well, yeah, but they're breathable. Well, you want breathability. Yeah. Right? Uh, a very shiny Stan Smith, the Asics gel NYC. Hey, I'm walking in. <laughs> um, these, Ooh. I saw these earlier on the calendar. I thought these had already, Oh, dropping again. There you go. There's there the headline. So I thought I'd read that the first release of these, they did, I didn't try to go for you were a big fan of these when we talked about them last month. Um, Not bad. I think the first release on Saucony's website was pretty limited and people were like, hold up. I did. Th- yeah. Yeah. That's too much hype for a Saucony. Like I'm just trying to buy the shoes here. So um, cool to see them doing another release. This is still great execution on the details and the materials here. This is still a fun one. Those laces. Mm-hmm. Favorite part of the shoe. Favorite part of the shoe. Great color. Uh, quarter snacks and the converse one star. More dunk lows, ultra boost. Y'all remember ultra boost? Mm, 1.0s um, too. Yeah. They're like, yo, what if we do 1.0s? I actually bag. like, and I love it. I yeah. give me more 1.0s. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll buy an ultra boost. I think with the, with the, I think with the, with the sneaker market now with, with all day, like comfortability and like the, yeah. the versatility that we have. I mean, ultra boost used to be the only one, you right? Know, it used to just be like, this is a, and all day great comfort wear. And I think they are great. Um, but I think just now it's there's got, so there's so many other choices. Got my Vomeros, sold both pairs of Ultra yeah. Boost. I'll just put that out there. Whoa. Both pairs. I was like, okay, well, because already, like, to your point, I'd been holding on to them for the comfort, right? Not necessarily the style. Cause like I think they've had their time. It's not really what yeah. I, I'm wanting right now. And so now that I've got Vomero's, which is like both the comfort and the sound, I'm like, okay, well, I do not need Ultra Boost anymore. Well, so, yeah. Vomero's are hidden and they got the comfort. So, that part. Yeah. Uh, I think now if I'm doing like an athletic type, maybe like a look, I think I am going more towards the classics, like those Air Max looks, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Uh, the next colorway of the Fear of God Athletics one in clay, which not surprising to see from mm. Fear of God. The Jock Nike J Force One. I had not seen this one yet. I'd seen the Air Maxes that they were doing, but this is what? Like, this is kind of Air Max one ish upper, but on like a woven sole. But I think that's a new sole that they're doing. Um, Looks right now. Love the tiny swoosh, though. Yeah. Oh, you should see, have you seen the Air Max they're doing? Mm, okay. Hang on. No. Hang on. We're going to pull it up here. Um, you are going to love swoosh. these even better than baby swoosh. Where's hang on. I got to find a picture. Oh. Um, it's just no swoosh. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, this is tough now. Okay. Hang on. Coming back. Wow. Someone's got to have it. It has the tiniest little air. Here we go. You see? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. But little swoosh as well. Little swoosh and tiniest little air bubble. Just the smallest little pretty. thing you've ever seen. Yeah. That is pretty, pretty um, awesome. I do. I, so, I'm anyways, a fan of that. no peeking. Uh, this one, I mean, curious. 
I'll, I'll give them up for, you know, it's kind of like when union did the woven on the Jordan one, where I'm like, I don't know if I love it yet. And I don't know if this is going to yeah. stick, but like, I always like to see them trying something new like that. Appreciate you doing something. Yeah. Go for it. King. Uh, this dunk glow, which, you know, I'm pretty cool on dunks right now, but this one, all the different materials. Oh, this is okay. This is one I did want to ask you about. Right. So air max ones. I know you got a thing. We don't need a mini mm-hmm. swoosh on the front, right? What yeah. if we put the, what if we put the mini swoosh on the back? How does that affect you? Here's the thing. I think the placement, the placement's better. Okay. Still annoys the heck out of me. That we got to put two swooshes on it. I don't, I just don't the know. Swoosh like, so nice. The, they did it twice. What's the purpose? Like, I think it looks better. I think it yeah. looks, like, I think the placement is better, but I'm also just like, what are we doing? It's also just, better that it's like, it's like, it, it's not as same color. Yeah. Like it, it's kind of blended in. Like, it's not yeah. just like a, here's another red switch. I'm just like, what are we doing? Why? Yeah. You know, Overall, it's just though. like, it, it's like the, like the Coke commercials. I'm just like, what is this commercial for? We know the brand. <laughs> I don't need the polar bears anymore. Um, yeah. Well, overall, a good dunk, though. Oh, hold, oh, well, hold on. I didn't mean it like that. We still need the polar bears, just not in the Coke yeah. commercials, because right, right. OK, there you go. Oh, speaking of polar bears, yeah, I'll put it, Here on, we put go. it on air. Got to send you. Well, it's more it's more adorable. Got to send you. Uh, we really could just text it to to your wife. It's a it's a turtle video. Oh, OK. Any polar bears in it? Mm-mm. Don't know why I thought about it, but just felt the need to. Just also in March, we got <laughs> swimming around. March is uh, kind of dry. Yeah. Well, we got the first. Uh, see, this is to the point of like we're not performance basketball guys, but like be there's the something to talk about. Could, the first, it could be the last of Kyrie's uh, first signature sneaker, uh, first signature silhouette with Anta, and especially important to talk about here, they are doing the launch of these at Sneaker Politics in Austin for South by Southwest. Hey. So, go the ahead. Boys, to the boys at politics getting the debut of Salute like the high Salute profile the athlete new signature silhouette wow. up off kings um, i can't tell what he's trying to say about the pyramids but <laughs> there's something he's trying to say about the pyramids Kyrie's definitely got opinions on cairo i'll tell you that right now you know like clip it clip a it bar you want a bar real quick clip it all right clip it clip it, clip it. um oh this says Kyrie irving i see it now okay oh uh, Mm. there's probably are you reading it are you reading it with your <laughs> eyes or are you reading it with third I, eye? I, right <laughs> i was just about to make that joke yeah um 11 or one one oh see this this there right you, you know like what are we actually uh-huh. what are we saying here yeah i don't even know if i'm cycling through the pictures at this point anymore um <laughs> it's you know it's, it's not for gonna... me in any sense but like good on Kyrie to go out and, you know, get the bag with Anta here and, you know, be happy in a sneaker deal after, you know, so yeah. long of not being happy with Nike in it. Nothing makes me happier than when a millionaire gets more millions. <laughs> well, lucky for you, I should tell you a little story about a small man named Jeffrey Bezos. You would love <laughs> that story. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos signs a deal with Walmart. Yeah. Oh, oh, just big <laughs> capitalism going even bigger. Shut the show down right now, please. Yeah. Uh, Nike, LeBron, Money. for f- Fruity Pebbles. You want to talk about? You want to talk about the khakis and Nike Elite Socks era? That would pop off yeah. right there. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite collabs is the LeBron and Fruity Pebbles. I do love that LeBron. I, I had the just, dunks, the dunks when they came out. Mm-hmm. I enjoy them. Now hold on. Now let's scroll down to these. <laughs> you want to talk about these a little bit? I absolutely do. I guarantee I show my wife these and, and it's, it's done. So also a hundred, one ninety five fashion hurts, baby fashion hurts. Show us the top down. Show us. Fashion the, does it. Look, here's the, the thing. straps on that bad boy. I don't hate these. And that's disgusting. Y- you, you could be pulling these off. You would go. Well, you, would, you probably wouldn't go pink. You might go sea foam here or black. I, do, I was going to say, I, I kind of, black's a little are, too simple for what we've got going on design wise. You sea foam. These look like they're meant to be worn like house slippers. Like they look like they've got cushion lining yeah. on the inside of them. This just reminds me of Claire's 2003. Yeah. That's all. That I hear a Hillary Duff all. metamorphosis hit coming through the loudspeakers <laughs> there. 
bro. I'll cry these, right now. These look I'll like cry you right put, now. This little button. You could, you could put these on and refer to yourself as pretty boy, and people would not be able to argue. And like, it would not be an insult, right? People would be like, "Damn, oh, that yeah. boy, pretty." That is a pretty boy. Right there. That's yeah. pretty boy. That's Dang. pretty boy attitude. Yeah. Oh, pr- it's not pretty boy swag. Instagram. That was a different pretty boy attitude. No. Pretty boy attitude. Come on, man. I just got the lower thirds updated for this. I just got the little <laughs> titles at the bottom. Don't do it to me. Change um, it to pretty boy, pretty boy attitude. Pretty boy attitude. I hope it's not taken. I like them less for 195. <laughs> yeah. A little less pretty on that. Yeah. This might be my wife's first purchase, <laughs> it ain't, uh, which we have a joint bank account. So jokes on me. Jokes it's on me. It's me, also but... my purchase. <laughs> it's also my purchase. So. Uh, more dunks coming out. This Vomero 5 in what I can only describe as like a pay less colorway, you know, like these to me mm. would like, these are the Vomero colorways that I do not get down with. But I think so many people do of like all these like bright neon uh, primary this, colors, you know? Yeah, this one, not this one, not terrible. This one, very, I'm getting very, I don't know why I'm getting PlayStation. What is this color scheme? That's like, oh, Broncos, I don't know. Broncos. Got some Broncos in it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you what. I also, you know what? Like, it seems weird. Like, I feel like the person who wears these is like the person going to like a Yu Gi Oh tournament, but pulling their deck out of like a Louis Vuitton bag. Whoa. Okay. That's a picture you painted <laughs> in my head. I I didn't know where that sentence was going. And it just, yeah. it, I wasn't yeah. expecting it to go there. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. You got the accents in the dark there? <laughs> Like a bo- oh, hold hold on. on, they put glow in the dark on this shoe. They could do that. I didn't know they had reflective? that technology. Is that shit reflective? Yeah. Um, it's not for me. Good for someone, but not for me. Yeah. I, is it the orange or the blue? It's it's one of them. It's probably more the orange. I mean, because they it's did usually the orange. Yeah, orange is hard. Yeah, it's a it's a tough color. It's not my favorite color. You know. That's fair. That's fair. Sorry, All Chester right, Cheetah. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> two wow. different references. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they, we didn't, they didn't need to both catch strays there, right? We could have <laughs> only took shots at one, but we doubled down and said, I hate orange this much. Both the Oopa Loopas and the Chester Cheetahs. So out of sync that we are doing a yeah. phenomenal episode right now. <laughs> um, more Mac attacks and more social wow. status Mac attacks, which. I can't keep track of what colorways they have and have it done, but I'm pretty sure yeah. they've done this one. Um, it feels like it. This it feels one, like it. I mean, this one's clean. I don't, again, I don't need the green and orange on the tongue. More reflective. Mm. <laughs> Every time. Mo- literal mm. moth the flames here. I'm like, hang on. Is that? Is that? Yeah. 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 Hold on. Now. You know what's crazy? Since we got the Mac attack, led me to Please. Travis Scott. You know, I had this, this random thought. It was just one thing. I was like, man, what a bummer that like for Travis Scott, cause like one, you can only wear Nike. Like that's it. You can't be seen where it's in the deal. Else. Yeah. You okay. know what I mean? So I'm like, Oh, that's kind of, I mean like a great brand to have, I'm sure. like, huh. but then I'm also just like the pressure of being like, I also just can't wear whatever Nike. Cause then obviously that I'm sure is also in his contract. Be like, cause Nike be like, Hey, if you put on anything, everyone's going to spin thinking that this is the next collapse so i'm like his his pool of shoes that he can openly wear in public are so tiny mm-hmm. i'm I sure he doesn't care with the billions of dollars yeah, that I, they're, that they're i doubt feeding. they tell him which nikes he can't wear i mean i'm sure they probably want to encourage him if anything they probably want to encourage him which ones he should wear of like you know mac attack is a case in point where like they're trying to make it a thing yeah. or like you know airships i'm sure like they'd love for him to be wearing airships because they're trying to make that a thing uh but i doubt like I, i'm sure they would like remember three years ago wow four years ago now when he was wearing all the dunks right all the old past mm-hmm. dunks that's good for them in the sense that like you know it helps the dunk business but like yeah. what would be great is if he's wearing this dunk right that like because they can't they can't sell more um Newcastle dunks, cabs. right? Go, taxi yeah. cabs. They can't sell. They can sell more dunks that kind of look like it, or they can make the knockoff colorways. But like, if he wears the upcoming one, I'm sure they would really like that. But very true. Again, uh, 
I just I just love to see Travis Scott get a, a Nike sneaker deal to I like when millionaires make more. You know, it just warms makes my, my heart. Makes my heart happy. I, the, it's like the and cold then, side of the pillow. Uh, yeah. Did you see these? The Air Max 186 Museum masterpiece. Um, they definitely belong in a museum because they I, should be behind glass. <laughs> um, it looks like they're meant to be Crumpled like paper. I well, I see more like alabaster or like not marble necessarily. Too but big like, of a word. Too big okay, of a word. Sorry. Uh, it looks like clay, like kind of like clay. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I see more that the crumpled paper. The only thing I like about these though is the little the tribute to Tinker Hatfield on yeah. the inside of the soul. Like That's great, you know. But yeah. please do not like step that. on the art. Like this to me reads like remember what was it the not for resale Jordan ones where it's like, yeah. bro, these are not just sneakers, and it's like, turns out, yeah, actually, turn, turns out actually, yeah. yeah. Um, this looks like here we go some art student in Fletcher. It's three o'clock in the morning. You're cramming your final, and you <laughs> spilt coffee on your final draft, and you said, "You were forget it." <laughs> This is what I'm turning in, and you got an A. They say no, no, but they said you're you're right. Your your uh your friends are there with you, and they're pushing you. Like you gotta you gotta power through this, and you're like, this is the third repeat of this Fleet Foxes album. Zeus is not delivering at this hour of the night. I gotta just get done with this, and yeah, yeah. This is this is the frustration of Fletcher hitting. Yeah, art is just money laundering for rich people now. So. Thank you everyone for checking out another. Listen, we could wrap right there. <laughs> that you should have saved that for the end. Come back to that at the end, okay? Go back to that. There you go. I'll I'll, I'll get it home. Uh, more dunks. Teenage Mutant right. Ninja Turtles. I mean, have they not already done this? Because if not, you know, like about time. The yeah. thing I like about it though is that they did put the shell pattern on the toe, which is That's like great because it is the shell toe. It's good cute. job. Uh, good job. Yeah. Hey, um, <laughs> why are they wearing masks? uh they're pretty recognizable <laughs> you know they're mutant oh, turtles got you i thought you were talking about the shoe because i was like because the turtles yeah. wear shoes no you just got uh, beef with the actual yeah. ninja turtles yeah. now and they're like well for their identity you don't have a social security <laughs> card so i don't think you have an identity because you're a turtle you know what i mean like are you worried they might mix game. you up with michelangelo <laughs> the painter because i don't think he was in the sewers of new york eating pizza my guy and then i'm also so like this rat is well like well versed in like culture and life like, and what's the deal with term? april we're all a little too comfortable and chummy with april you know giant rat shredder. love is love like, what? yeah but love is love mm. which one do you think she got with also in march we got for <laughs> airmax day uh the two big releases that i think nike is doing here is the uh oh come on. okay <laughs> they're not gonna do it <laughs> Uh, just the image in the new tab. Psych. The royal blue, which this looks more like iridescent Oof. or like goes to purple. Um, that of edit, the Air Max that One does. big bubble, and also the new silhouette for this year, the Air Max DN. Please work. All right. That sounded like what politician was that that like gave this speech? And I was like, please clap. That's how I felt in that moment. <laughs> um, the Air Max <laughs> DN. How do you feel about Nike's signature Air Max Day silhouette for this year? It's always tough because I, I'm not a big fan of like a, like these solid like colors, mm, and again okay. I guess just like from again like from our high school like I see a solid black shoe so all I think of is the Reeboks. Yep, it's really hard not to. Yeah, um, I. It's always interesting. I I am curious. I guess maybe because it's just that a solid color is just easier to go with everything. Um. It reminds me this also I am getting a lot of like maybe not Y2K, but very like early 2000s, mm, um, okay. especially like like all I can see with these is the ad for those Oakleys where they go over the top of your head. Oh, uh, OK. OK, I could see that vibe. You could wear those with these. Yeah. Or like Blade, just Wesley Snipe. <laughs> I was just like, thinking Blade. Yeah. Yeah. You know? These God, you know, the first two were so good. Hitting heavy in the in the Euro Club. You got the shades on over your head. Yeah. Um so this is ve- this is very much of like a like it's traction pattern, bunch of tiny crosses on it? Question mark. Hey. You just gotta let the devil know who's up. <laughs> I I say stepping on him. Yeah. 
Yeah. The last thing uh, you see is what is that 12 <laughs> crosses coming for you as you're getting curb stuff? Not today, Satan. Oh. Hey, shouldn't have been cross slipping. Shouldn't have been. <laughs> did, I, I know you should have said, gosh darn, and you're regretting it now. <laughs> the you Lord's there to invade on 10 toes right now. <laughs> Not today. You better, you better think again next time you drop a GD next to me. <laughs> if we see any of y'all in the comments, best believe we're coming for you. Yeah. And those shoes come with, you know, those little, those little soul protectors. Oh yeah. They're like a big old yeah. sticker. Keep it in there. Just in case the blood gets on me. Cool. Right there. I don't know. Not me officer <laughs> doing the Lord's Ooh, work. Actually, not me. Uh Oh, uh Oh, accidental crime. Not on our show. Um, uh, here. Have you seen though, the Supreme colorway that they did to these, which I think already released on Supreme's website. Can't say I have, I think Supreme had their drop of these, uh, and there are other colorways which are coming out. Oh, they did a that silver looks, bullet, but they also wow. had a um they hmm. also had or will have a black colorway of it coming out. I thought oh these. I thought the Supreme colorway was better than the original. I think a lot of people again from I, what I will, saw online thought this was kind of boring and plain, but I was like this actually looks kind of fun. This looks kind of tough. It's got a little bit like it, the it almost looks like, you know, with the different materials has different shades of black. So it, that does give it something to break up. Yeah, I like the black and the green. I think the I think black the green, and the green look cool. really good. Yeah. Um, and I do like how the bubbles kind of stand out a little bit more mm-hmm. um, with this one. Now, again, that could just be, you know, the way that they shot it. Um, and yeah, I mean, like Supreme being the reflective is pretty neat. I like that. Yep. Sorry. Just uh, go ahead and fill the air time here. I did not. So I didn't put uh, together in my head. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting for a, a, a new, a new silhouette, a new release. I, d- I just don't know how well it's going to, I think they've been, go. they've been struggling with air max day releases since the two seventy. you know, I think the two seventy or maybe <sighs> the seven twenty. some people like the seven twenty. um, we're like the last big ones, but remember, they did the 2090 when it was whatever year anniversary of the Air Max 90. Mm-hmm. And then they had the Air Max pre day. So I think, I mean, at this point, it kind of feels like they are like letting go of Air Max day in the sense that like, they, it seems like they kind of still do something out of ceremony, but outside of that, it's just like, yeah, but I'm, you're I mean, always going to be comparing it to the year they did the vote contest with the Witherspoon ones, or yeah. if that was the same year that they brought back the, uh, the Atmos elephant print air max ones, or when they did the para air max one, you know, like you go that hard. They introduced the vapor max. It's just, well, it's, it's tough. I mean, I don't know to me either just treat air max day where that's the day that you're going to retro something. That's what it should be. Bring I think it should be like the vault. Like the holiday Jordan 11, you know, like every year Air Max yeah. Day, bring back a banger. Yeah. You've got something or even like, I think it would even be cool if you did like a, like a, a signature shoot where it's like, Hey, this is a, or Hey, this is a, an Air Max 90 that never, we, we never saw mm. it never made it past. And we just want to have it. It's just going to be for Air Max Day. It's not going to be a pr- big production. Mm-hmm. We didn't think this could make the cut, but we liked it. It was a passion project that we liked, but it just never made it to the final. I think that would be cool. I think that'd yeah. be a fun story. I think for the people who love the history of Air Max, um, it would make Air Max a special day. It's like, okay, well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Rather than like, oh, here's a new silhouette. And then two years from now, it's a dead silhouette. And it's yeah. like, you know, even, it's crazy because even thinking of like the 270s, like I, I think the 270s were great. Like, I yeah. think they looked good. I think they had they good still sell them. I think they were comfortable, but yeah. they're just there. I mean, it's, it's a dead silhouette. Like it's not, well, it doesn't get like the big push. It's dead to us, but I think it still moves numbers in the mall, which is like, it's, it's well. not, it's not hype, but still like the air max 2090. I don't think it's still for sale in the air max pre day, both of which launched more recently than that. So the, yeah, all that to say though, that it's just like, I think the 270 was the last new signature silhouette. They introduced that stuff. I you saying it Fair. reminded me that I think the last Air Max day I cared about was when they retroed the Bacons. That mm, was that was a big one, big moment, big moment. Yeah, yeah. Bacons were great. Rounding out March on sneaker news, a lot of the Adidas SL seventy two, which I'm not too familiar with, but looks good and fine. You know, Dang. shout out to my people across the pond. 
there you go. And then now you're getting just into the, well, it might come out in March. Uh, something that I did like here though, was that like, it seems like kind of this colorway going across different lines of like the all cream ACG, the all cream air max 90, the all cream ISPA. It looks like Reebok tried to sneak one in there. Like, no, 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 we're with them. We're with them. That's, that's our group. That's our group right there. Um, yep. all, all together. The, the only family. other one I saw on this page that I think some people will be excited about is the hidden NY a six gel NYC. Um, not a big hidden NY guy. I just never really got on board with it. Um, and then the whole, as we've said many times, bright silver panels on mesh runners is also not my thing. So I don't know. A lot of this shoe to me kind of feels like you were born in the two thousands, but you really love the nineties, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. But it's just like, yeah. just see this whole aesthetic kind of feels like yearning for a time. I did not live in, which is fine. He said with like a closet full of Jordan ones, right? Like I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't on the court with Mike at that time, but it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's different though. I think, you know, with, uh, I think Jordan has transcended that, uh, late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Whereas right. this was very much like a, we thought the computers were going to turn off forever. <laughs> uh, too funny. What a time. Let's yeah. see what we've got on the Jordan brand side of things. I think there's just a couple here to talk about really for March. Um, oh, they added some more Jordan one, low 85 metallic blue clean and fine. The Jordan five olives. olives. Not bad. Not for me. Yeah. Oh, the Travis Another Scott one. Jordan Jumpman Jack, um, which these had the first small release on Grammy night, which a lot of people claim was not actually released, but just loaded as sold out to promote the hype of it. Um, did we are, did we talk about this last month? Yeah, we did. Okay. Not too many more thoughts. A fine, but not mind blowing first signature yeah. silhouette here. Um, a wider release. I'm sure it's going to sell out as well. So good for them. Uh, the dusted clay Jordan one highs looks That's good. A good looking one. That's I'm, a good looking one. I'm personally at a point where I don't need more Jordan ones. If anything, I'm trying to thin out my collection, but this is a good one. I think I, I would agree. I, I think that's a really, really good looking one. That is a, that's one of the ones where it's like, Hey, if you, if you're wanting a Jordan one or whatever it is, like that's a good looking shoe right there with the suede on it. I mean, if you're building your collection, good one to good one to have in there you know oh absolutely yeah yeah or like you don't have anything that you're gonna pumpkin patch you're gonna yeah you're gonna have to put these on ice for a bit the pumpkin spice latte ones here but when the time comes around you're gonna defrost these bangers sprinkle some nutmeg on that thing Mm, you gotta make me thirsty uh the awake and why jordan airships um again sleeping they're pushing the airships. I, I think this is one of the better airships that has happened in a bit here. It's still not one that I want. I just, I like the different details they did on this with the snakeskin and then the little awake a that is stitched on kind of like the foot there. I am so tired though, of this midsole treatment that they keep doing of like, it's vintage. I'm like, no, it's, it's stained. Like this is, it's, it's, it's different. different. Yeah. I'm just not a big fan of snakeskin. I personally, I would not wear these, but like, I just like seeing something a little bit different from like another airship or where is it? I know it's in here. Hang on. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Green glow, Jordan threes. No, do the fours. <laughs> Smile. Listen, we don't need to keep putting color waves on other silhouettes. Just, oh, no, just chill. do the fours. Just again. do the, the fours. fours were so, the fours are so good. Yeah. The green glow fours are so good. They're like um, one of my favorite. Here it is. That's just do what that. I was saying. Speaking of the midsoles, like we, we just don't need to keep doing this midsole. Um, it didn't even look good. It looked like someone tinkled on it. That's what I keep saying. Like you can do just yellowed, like you could just do cream or, or sale, but we don't have to do this. But again, this is why I like the awake collaboration. Cause like, this is the alternative of what we're getting where I just feel like we've seen this so much of like trying to pitch like the classic aged airship and it's just not taking. So. Um, yeah. Let me tell you what the 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 lawn care ASMR community with those. Oh, these. Yo, it's a good look. It's a good look for that. Like either people who do like the golf course stuff. Okay, okay. Golfers, hit us up in the chat. Let us know if these are hit, resonating with you. 
Yeah. Is this a is this a is this a chip in for birdie or are you double bogeying on this? I don't I don't have the knowledge to continue this bit with you, but I just I yeah. wish I did. Or I could even be like, is this a chip in or a three putt? I get that. Four. Moving on hey. to Yeezy. Um which we are talking about again now, I guess. Uh maybe technically releasing in February. I don't know, but there's some more three fifties coming out, which I guess have already been made. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to get all into it or not right now, <laughs> but here's what I will say. Right. I think, I think yay is actually hitting the nail on the head here being like, you know, everybody knows the three fifties been corny. I personally, uh-huh. personally it's, it's in ultra boost territory for me. Right. Very comfortable, but like, Mm. this just this silhouette has been out for so long though that like i to me it's no longer like the popular relevant thing where i think what's funny and where he's off is him talking about like how bad this colorway is right of like you're telling me the man who pioneered 50 shades of beige is like oh but it's all gray hold on that's corny like it's like come on yay that being said i agree it's you know it, it's not bad. It's just plain, you know, and yeah, I'd be fine if this didn't release. I, I don't think we need this. Um, it It is. It is. Um, it is weird. It is odd. Um, I also I just don't really think the, the Yeezy wave is. Is really there anymore, uh, regardless it, of regardless of whatever he done. Like, yeah. I think even as that happened, I think kind of like what you said, I think just the silhouette is no longer a fit that people are trying to put together. I I agree with you that it's not hot, but I am just as surprised to see like there's a ton of people hyped that more three fifties are coming out. So like maybe it's not in like the mainstream sneaker cult or maybe it is in the mainstream. It's not in like the, the hype beast sneaker culture. Maybe yeah. it is. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't see a lot yeah, of people yeah, yeah. wearing these. But there seems to be a lot of people online excited to get them. I guess maybe more so for just like casual everyday wear rather than thinking necessarily like, I'm going to get a fit off with these. But then again, I'm also just like, I mean, there's, I mean, how many different right. V2s did we have? And in, in, I feel like it was, you've got 40 to 50 different colorways. Why do you need more? Like, why do you need gray? You know what right, I mean? Like yeah. there's other colorways that could have fit that, that have, have a, a better pop or, a better look so it's like it's not like you're hurting for a, a, a 350 you know yeah. like a v2 and again i don't know what the market is like on v2 so i don't know if it's like how you once was where it was like oh yeah it's you gotta you gotta want this silhouette or this colorway yeah um and they're like because i mean what i mean there's still what 220 yeah you know it's like 230 price, it's going up 230 inflation yeah yeah i don't know i also do not care for this video with just uh kind of callously and loosely throwing around some pretty traumatizing language for certain people. Um, oh wow! Just like just I casually, it, so. yeah, yeah. I don't. Well, I mean, that's also Kanye, Kanye right? Oh, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we'll quickly look at what uh, Kicks on Fire has on their calendar to see if we miss anything here. More calm slides. These Vomero color. See, like. I'm just at that point where yeah. I I don't need colorways like this that I can't wear that often. Um, oh, another colorway of the Air Max Plus Drift. The Drift. I think still a good silhouette. I don't really love the highlighter colorway, but um, it, it fits with the silhouette. I will say true. that at least. That's true. I mean, yeah. yes, I don't like it, but I think it does fit that silhouette well. Yeah. The Nike Women's Air Max 187 Malachite. That sounds Old Testament. That sounds like. Oh, that sounds biblical right there that is children of the corn right there <laughs> which is true because i think the main character is called, his name is malachi so okay so very we'll check us on that um there you go children of the corn fans pop off don't rise up pop-off. just a corn fan actually uh but with the letter k <laughs> <laughs> that crossover yeah uh children well that's already a thing i know that's got yeah be that, children that, of the corn. that's low-hanging fruit well i guess low-hanging vegetable yeah. but yeah all uh, right all right all right he's getting uh, yeah, yeah, yeah all, all right. right more colorways right. of the ae one that's my bedtime um i do like these uh 
Supreme's take on the SB Darwin here. I think it's a cool looking silhouette. It, I think I like it because it gives me the ACG vibe, right? It kind of looks like the Explorade that they're doing right now or the Humara. So it's like, oops, not afraid to admit that that's why I like it. Um, yeah. Okay. But I also was like, yo, that camo colorway is tight. That's all Supreme was I knew like, you would they got dig. me again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they got me again. They put camo with a little Supreme tag on it. Son of a, every time. You can't keep getting away with this. I was like, yo, that camo colorway actually looks pretty with The good. alternate I like, laces? I saw Supreme. I was like, God dang it. <laughs> yeah. These don't look bad. Why Why do they do camo so well? All right. Now, let me ask you. What if we put the mini swoosh a little bit further up on the shoe, but not all the way on the front of the shoe? Oh, boy. Don't want to load. Hang on. <laughs> can we just, like, just, can we just grab this screen? Look, look. We put the mini swoosh on top of the main swoosh. That's the worst. But then we got the yeah, little tag with the little swoosh, the swoosh on it. That's That one's worse. That one's the worst one. That's the worst part. Of anything there it is. Do. It's worse than the toe. Where else did they put a swoosh on it? Huh? I want to see more. Huh? Huh? Where? Is this like little butterflies on the on the braids? That's, cute. That's um, cute. Okay. Let's see. Back to the list. Uh, the Darwins. Air Max 1s. The Cortez in a chlorophyll colorway. See, good classic Bomero colorways. Mm, crazy eights. A lot of performance stuff. The green clothes. Yeah. Just bring back the fours. Hey, just do the fours. These Air Maxes, uh, these look good. Good yeah. clean colorway. Good simple colorway. Speckled yeah, midsole. Could, cute. Could have done without the speckled midsole, but I, okay. I, 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 I really like it. I think it's a great colorway. Another. That's another one on my. I'm like, yo, that's going to really. You, you, you closet those till fall because that's gonna really mm, yeah yeah or you are you put in the miles now and then come fall they look a little bit uh got some some wear to them mm. is this another silhouette now the nike air zoom drive with nocta i don't recall seeing this one before um and that's some of the feedback i've seen on wow it's really hard to unsee now on the air max dn the new signature silhouette for air max day you see yeah. the little crosses on the bottom and like the pattern of the upper here. A lot of people saying like the Air Max DN kind of looks like a Nocta silhouette. And I think oh, when you see oh. this one right here, it's like, that's kind of hard to unsee. Yeah. Now it's. Mm. <laughs> really something to think about there. Mm. Okay. The Trader ones are not popping off right now, but listen, you put an olive colorway on it. It's not bad. <laughs> uh these i think are funny i think sb right now is doing a whole thing of like you know what this is you know <laughs> they um there's some other sb silhouette right now i forget what it is that's doing like another travis scott kind of colorway on it but this one to me is just straight mm-hmm. up funny um oh, yeah let's check for my boy here the harachi runner dark obsidian let's see how it stacks up to the og boy it kicks on fire can we beef up the servers? There we go. I know we're using your service for free for our program yeah. here, but like, guys, could you beef it up? Uh, could you do better? Oh, look at all these other ones. The Hiroshi Runner Light Ore. I like oh, the look of Night Maroon. Not too bad. I still think first colorway so far has been best colorway. First colorway. It just, again, yeah. this one is like a night crawler. Of oh, okay. Okay. I actually don't mind these. These I are really the good too. It's not bad. It's just kind of simple, you know. I like yours. Like, oh yeah, yeah it's sure. simple, but it's got a little pop to it as well. It really does. I still like. will look down. I'm like, dang, that's a good looking show. Man, I, really I love like the, what I'm doing the, now. The runner is just man. They did such a good job with that silhouette. I'm so happy to see him. Just sorry, what is happening uh, here? Nike Cortez Nike. Nike Sportswear Asia's. It's uh, okay. Woven details. Okay. They really loving the the woven materials right now over at Nike. Yeah, it's hot. They're throwing it on everything. These are kind of cool. I like all the details on them. If this were a collab, they'd probably have like a great story to tell with it, you know? Yeah. All the little details. A lot of details. Yeah. Yeah. Those Romeros, those women's right there, Valentine's Day. Yeah. A, a, those I are, like that. I'm pretty sure these already released, hence the name Valentine's Day. But Valentine's Day. I like them because it was kind of simple, little pop of color, Ooh. you know? I like that. A little hard on the back and a little flower. Oh, no. that's actually, those are actually really far. The Air Max one slide. Ooh. Every time I see it. If you are going to like a Mississippi beach this summer, 
This one's gonna. This is what you're gonna want to have on. You better be single. <laughs> better be single. You're gonna have too many people throwing themselves at you to have, to bring apart. Let me tell you, you right. You catch now. your significant other wearing that to Holly Beach. You do not have a significant other. <laughs> Holly Beach is exactly the one I wanted to reference. Thank you. <laughs> um, come on. <laughs> But I'm also like, it's a mule, Wait, but it's golf? a golf, right? Exactly. <laughs> like, no laces. No. What are we doing? Like, what are we actually doing? Because it's got to have like, right? It's got the golf spikes on it. Yeah. So, you're. What is the use case that like you're on the green, but you're not. You're not trying to wear them to like actually play in. Golfers, pop off in the chat. Let us know what is the this use I, case for this, these. This we legitimately need to know. Yeah, this we need. We need help. Um, and, trophy and room, and Air huh. Jordan ones. We get it, UNC. Okay, cool. Whatever. He played there. He played there. You gotta know <gasps> that. This is a good colorway, which I think has already come out before on the Vomero Five. The light armory blue. This is a good colorway. Right. I like colorways this one. Are popping off. I think really almost all the Vomeros are technically women's. Um, Te- I think it's just the thing. Well, oh. technically, we're all women. I don't know where to go with that conversation right now, but yeah. Um, no, where's good? No, where's good? Um. I guess not. These don't say women's in the I name, say, but I know a lot they, of them. Like the pair I have, the, <laughs> ladies ain't looking at that. No, no, no. You could go to the other. Go to the other. This, one, yeah, there no, you go. this is safety orge, right? This is this, this is utilitarian. This, this is, is the, you're pulling you're pulling a Yu Gi Oh deck out of a Jan sport. This is like that's what these are. This is you're ready to throw hands with your buddy about Home Depot being better than Lowe's, right? Like this is. These are the, oh. this is the, we can do it. We can help right here. You know, <laughs> that's not their motto. You can do it. We can help. I don't know. Either way. That's great. Yeah. I don't care what their motto is. Change it. <laughs> All right. Change it. Uh, I just want to, I just want to see some, some 60 year old dude. You can just, do it. We can help. Yeah. Uh, volume eight flamingos. Just, oh, no, no, no. We're put. We're putting up that pegboard, dude. We're putting <laughs> up that pegboard. Uh, all right. Round this out here. British tan monarch. <laughs> that was a British tan monarch for those of you that are listening. Uh, the Air Max Plus in just a classic Airman. black and white colorway. Clean. Good. I, this. This is good. Again, I really like that ombre that they're doing with like Looks that good. mesh underneath it. That's not bad. I mean, for just like a, a simple black white. Yeah. I think it looks great. The Air Max DNs. I think we're getting to the end of March. See, here. like that that light or uh, the more I see of the Camaro 5s, I'm like, these are. This one's already come out. So this might be a restock, but. Gotcha. Either way, which if you want these, probably go look on StockX for them because I think they resell for cheaper than retail because I think a lot of people thought. Um, When I was looking to get my first pair, I looked at these actually. So. That's a good I colorway. would highly encourage you to get a pair of Omeros. The only risk you run is you might not want to wear any of your other shoes. Ooh, that's how true to size. I think that's what you said. Yeah, they're true to size. Hmm. There's the first look of April. I, this is going to be maybe a little controversial here. I don't mind this colorway that much. And I know it's got that reflective blue and silver on it. Something about how yeah. that blue and like that maroon or purple kind of play off each other. Like, they do play. I kind of well. like it on this one a little bit. It's not terrible. Yeah, I I'd really what have about, to see it. Is this the yeah. other one that was down here? The licorice. Person. Like also, I don't hate these that much. I, I this one not terrible. I, the the purple. Yeah, I like in the front. Mm. The, these you'd have to see like that heel. Is that like? Is it? Mm, boy, are you looking at what I was looking at? Why do these look so smooth? Hey God, why do these look? Oh so smooth no you saw something else down here yeah no it's on the shoe it's the it's the word right on that midsole that really (laughs) yeah that um really really are really new balance pushing really pushing it yeah uh i'd really have to see these in person to see all those colors play (laughs) i thought you're talking about these (laughs) because i'm like why does this shoe look so smooth like 
It does. So smooth. Aerodynamic, but also would slow you down. All right. There you have it. All the sneakers you need to know about in March and none of the ones that you don't. I think overall, some decent stuff coming out this month. For me personally, it's not terrible. It does not hold a candle to February where I bought February. three pairs of shoes. Oh. So February really hit, which again, thankfully, I need a slow March to recoup from February. And then maybe in April, we can come back. Very true. Thank you, everyone, for checking out another episode of Shoe Podcast. You can find more info on us on our website, shoepodcast.com. You can keep up with us on social media at Shoe Podcast everywhere except for where we're not. But that does include Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and let's get the YouTube one out of here. Go ahead. Go away, YouTube. Thank you. Once again, a reminder, if you didn't hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do it. If you're not following wherever you listen to the show, leave that rating and review. But also, if you want to continue in on the conversation, go ahead and join our Discord. We will have a link to it in the episode description down below. Tanner, you got anything you want to leave the people with before we wrap up for the week here? I just need a couple, couple, couple things. Okay. First off, we need more people in the Discord. Mm -hmm. How else are we going to get those gosh dang kids back? Okay. We got to get them back. Thank you. We should have a channel um, in the Discord. We should have to bring the kids back. Okay. We'll make it. We'll make it happen. Okay. Uh, uh, two. If you've got a, a child or if you're like, hey, I want I want to have a kid. The best thing to do is to. Don't talk about the healthy things in life, but do the healthy things in life and have your mm. and have your kids. See, I always I remember growing up, you know, I felt like my mom was a superwoman. She somehow was like, I got dinner cooked. I'm working out. I'm helping you do homework. I don't get it. I don't know how she did everything. And then I just felt that with last night. I'm in the garage. I'm working out. My little boy, he's playing with his dinosaurs. I'm like, you know what? I'm not talking about the good things. I'm showing him. I'm bringing all these That's healthy right. things into his life. So, you know, it's a good thing. Makes you feel better. And it's good. They see it growing up. And they're like, oh, this is a healthy thing to do. You give him that confidence to go to daycare. And when you start having the hypothetical, my dad could beat your dad up. He's seen the proof in the pudding. He's like, no, no, no. My dad's ripped. My dad's benching in the yeah, garage. He's like, he's like, I don't know. I don't know the weight, but there was a couple of plates on there. There were a couple of plates. You right? know, and then, and the, then I'm in the kitchen with a couple of plates. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> the other kids are like, no, no, no. My dad's got a bow flex. He could take your dad. And then your son's like, my dad listened to Alter Bridge while he worked out. He, <laughs> you do, you do not want to mess with that man. He could do anything. He's in that state of mind. He was crying, listening to Creed still PR. He was doing the chest fly with arms wide open. I'll tell you right now. But yeah. He, he not only was, he heard it, he saw it, he spoke it. And that's going to do it for us. <laughs> Thank you everyone for checking out another episode of shoe podcast. We will be back next week with another one. Please don't get us TOS on YouTube by doing too accurate of a creative impression there. <laughs> I am your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanny Young. Y'all have a good little weekend. See you in a week. Bye, friends. <laughs>